So guys, for this shot now, we're gonna use three light sources. But before I get into that, I want you guys to notice something. We're completely in the shade. This is for the guys that are shooting in the shade, but the background, far in the background, it's overexposure, it's really bright because it's in the sun. Now, what I wanna attempt to do is take a picture so that the background is not overexposed, so it's properly exposed, but so is my subject. So I'm gonna have my assistant star there bring the uh, f-stop back down, all the way down, keep going, keep going, all the way to, expo it, it's exposed in the back. It'd be what, f-20, f-20 something? Okay, so right now you can see this background is perfectly exposed. You can see the water, you can see the sky, but you can't really see me. So what we're gonna do is we're pretty much gonna do the same thing in photography where we're gonna expose for the background while lighting up our subject with our flash. So we're gonna start one flash at a time. Now we're properly exposed for uh, inside the shade uh, just for you guys to see what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna expose the camera for the background only, for the background only. So we're gonna take a picture. If you look at this picture, you're gonna see that the background is out of focus because I'm focused on her face, but the background is properly exposed. Nothing is uh, overexposed, nothing is popping out, there's no hot spots, but she's not properly exposed, you can't see her. So we're gonna go ahead and add the first light, which is gonna be the Octabox. Now the Octabox is on, and we're gonna take our first picture. It's on half power. We're starting to see her face in this image. We're gonna bring the Octabox up one over one. So you can see how the left side of her face is completely in shadow. We're gonna go ahead and turn on that fill light and we're gonna bring it up to half power uh, while the key light is in full power. It looks like since we're using different diffusers, we gotta use different power. Even if I am at a half power on that disc, it's a lot brighter than the Octabox because the light is reflecting off the umbrella through the Octabox diffuser and into, the, into my subject. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit more. Bring it down to a quarter power. Awesome, now that's a lot better. So now we see her face is pretty much filled in nice and soft, but we don't have a backlight. We have a light shining on her shoulder from the sun, but we want a real backlight. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on a third light source, which has no diffusion on it. And like I said, I always try to angle it to where uh, she's facing. So if she's facing towards the left, I wanna make sure it's on the right side. So I'll just face this way towards me. We have the light coming in on the side of her hair and on her shoulder. I might bring it up just a little bit at to the top of her head and also bring up the power to one fourth. I went ahead and adjusted the backlight so that it's directly on the top and the side of her head and all falling off her shoulder. So we'll take a look at it now. Ready? Awesome, so that looks a lot better. Uh, it's hitting more or less the top of her head, the side, but it's kind of hitting her cheekbone just a little bit, and I don't want to hit her cheekbone. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. So I put it a little bit more behind her because it was leaking to the side of her face. So let's take another shot. Perfect. Take a few more. Let me get just a little lower to get more of the background in there. We're getting some awesome shots here where she is perfectly exposed to the background. Awesome. The background is not super overexposed. It's a proper exposure and all of our light sources are popping just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and do a few more before we finish up just to give her some shots for her portfolio. Okay, so she actually do some where she's uh, squatting down on the floor. So it's pretty much the same exact light setup. All we're gonna do is bring all of our lights to her level. So we're gonna go ahead and set the camera down. Bring all these light sources down, nice and low. We're gonna take some shots now. Since she went down, you wanna also be at her level. So I'll go ahead and take one picture just looking down at her, so you guys can see the difference.
And then we'll take another picture looking up. Great. All right, so it's a wrap. We expose our subject properly to the overexposure of the background. We able to get some really nice shots. Now, this isn't the typical scenario where I would be doing my photography or a client would want uh, me to shoot a, a photo, uh, but this is a instance where you guys might be in where the background is gonna be overexposed and you wanna bring up the light source from where the subject is to properly expose it to not have completely blown out highlights in the back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on another tutorial.